wonderful world of Disney. The Young Loner. You come back here tomorrow. Man could get himself in trouble nowadays hiring a kid that size. Him and me, we've been working all the way down the valley together. <laughs> Ain't nobody ever questioned it before. Move along, other people to pay here. All right, all right, all right. How about the bonus? Yeah. How about the bonus? We got to we're supposed to have five cents a row. We done 14 rows between us. You pay the bonus on Saturday. You don't work the full week, you don't get it. Kid said he was willing to work the week, didn't he? Sure, sure, he did. He, 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 he come back. Ah, just a moment. You all knew you had to work a full week before you got the bonus. That was spelled out before you ever started. You got some job there, all right? Huh? He's got some job sitting, just sitting here in the shade. Want your money or not? Yeah. All right, if you do, get back there in an orderly line and take your turn. Otherwise, I'm closing up. Now, how do you want it? Ah, he's talking better. It's not his business how old I am. Nobody's picking carrots. Nobody's picking spuds. In Tomorrow Valley, they all wear Sunday duds. There ain't no picking peaches. There ain't no picking corn. In Tomorrow Valley, nobody's tired and worn. Tomorrow. No need getting mad at the poor dog. <laughs> He's just looking out for himself, same as anybody else. I suppose so. Yeah. It don't matter who you are or what you are. If you don't take care of yourself, <laughs> ain't nobody gonna take care of it for you. Boy, some stew this is gonna be. Why couldn't you take a parsnip and leave us the meat? <laughs> About me not being able to work here. That don't mean you have to move on, too, if you don't want to. Oh, well, I... I mean, I could push off by myself. Meet you somewhere down the line. Nobody has to go out of their way looking after me. Well, now, I... <coughs> I kind of got my fill of this rat hole anyway. Besides, a body don't want to stay too long in one place. You know, she start putting down roots. Just like this dang old potato. <laughs> and the first thing that happens, somebody cuts you up and drops you in their stew. Yeah. 
I think we'll head out first thing in the morning. cents a gallon. Last place we stopped is only 18 cents. Well, you can go back there and fill up, mister. That's up to you. All right, all right. I'll take two gallons. It ain't very cold, but it's wet. You tell your pa there's a nice cool spring about a half mile up the road. We always stop there and fill up all our bottles every time we come through. It ain't my pa. This is the guy I've been traveling with. Don't you have any folks? Yes, I must have. Sometimes. I don't remember. Come on, lady. Maybe we'll see you up at that water hole. It's on the right-hand side, just after you cross the bridge. Bye. Come on, Bumper, let's get out of here. Boy, they sure got some nerve charging them kind of prices for gasoline. Yes, sir. And they'd be so smart alecky about it, too. Well, they figure they got you over the barrel. Lie down, take it easy. Take it easy. What you're trying to do, kill yourself and everybody else? You're just lucky you're alive. Get your head back. You're all right. All right, lie still. Uh, I'm gonna have to take you in, of course. We'll try to patch you up first. Just relax. Bye! Bye!
we got here? Huh? Hey, little fella. the sheep ranch of Mrs. Williams. I am Carlos, old Carlos. Carlos Scaridio. Hey, what are you doing out there all alone, huh? Where'd you come from? Just around. What is your name? Oh, you got to have a name. Got to come from some place. I didn't ask to be brung here. I don't have to answer all your questions. Eat. Come. It's good. I make it myself. and they kill the sheep. Mm. Poor little fella. He don't have no mama now. All right, Jupiter. I'm going to look out for you right now. Eh? I think the wolf is the worst animal in the world. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Even worse than the grizzly bear, I think I hate the wolf. Don't matter what it is, every living thing's got to look out for himself. Because nobody else is going to do it for him. What? What do you think, eh? Maybe Jupiter should not fight the wolf to save the sheep? Maybe he should run away and hide till it is safe? When I tell you something, I don't care what kind of animal it is. If it is wolf, if it is grizzly bear, Jupiter, he would die to save the sheep. I guess that's his word. And he would die to save me, too. I would die to save him if I have to. Hmm. I never liked dogs very much. In all my life before, I never see a boy who do not like dogs. Well, most of them are 
most of them, they yap at you when you walk along the road. And when you make camp, they try to steal your food. Get down into bed. You ain't such a bad dog, as far as dogs go. way. Where'd you come from? I was just passing by. What's to you? Aunt Frida owns this place. Old Carlos just works for her. This is a sheep ranch, not a home for stray boys. I was just leaving. You, boy. You were willing to sleep here and eat here, but not do any work, huh? Not to go fetch water, like you said? Like who said? 
You help Angie bring in the supplies from the wagon, and then you can go fetch the water. Show him what to do. I'm going to have a talk with old Carlos. Didn't you see the note? Don't you know how to read? I can read numbers. How do you know he didn't run away from home? Maybe his parents are looking for him. It's been a long time since he had a home, someone to look out for him. Boys don't run away unless they got a reason. That's not really our problem, Carlos. What is my problem? Who's going to look out for the little baby lamb? Unless I can find a mama for him. And old Jupe, he needs someone to help him, too, for a few days. You've always got by before. But the boy is here. He needs a place to stay. And I need someone to help. It's so wrong to help each other? Well, it is, if you get mixed up with the wrong people. He's a good boy. I can tell. You're just lucky he didn't make off with half your food. And all of your money. He's a good place for a boy. And he'd be big help. Like Ben was big help. No? Stupid old man. I talk too much. Of course, everybody tried to get Anne Frieda to sell the ranch after Uncle Herbert died, but she wouldn't listen. She made up her mind this was the only place in the world to raise her son. And the sad part of it all is, she realizes if it hadn't been for that, Ben might still be alive. Huh? He tried to shoot a grizzly that was after the sheep. But he only wounded it. And then his gun jammed. Nearly as they could ever figure out. A lot of grizzlies around here? Oh, not the way they used to be. Oh, what's your name, boy? Bumper. Bumper? Well, what's your first name? That is my first name. At least that's what everybody calls me. How would you like a job for a few days? Stay here and look after the dog and the, and the lamb while Carlos is out with the sheep. Uh, I kind of figured I'd move and sell. Oh, why don't you stay? At least for a few days, until your arm gets better. How much do you pay? Twenty-five cents a day, plus your keep. There really won't be too much work. Sure is lousy pay. But it's for in clear. Yeah, I might take it on for a few days. Sugar beets are picking spuds. Hey, Lucky. Did you hear that? We got company coming. little fella gonna have a mama now. Huh? You know, it's happened, same thing, every spring. Mama, sheep, they lose the lamb. Lamb, sheep, they lose the mama. They're very unhappy, unless... I know, you just kind of pair them off. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
Oh. Hey. Oh. You're... That's the trouble with the whole world. You give somebody what it is they want, and they act like, no, they don't want it. Poor little guy. He gives you aren't so lucky after all. The big one, she knows that it's not her own. You know, it's only by smell the sheep know it is hers. The mama sheep, she can have the only black lamb there is. It's not by looking at it she know it is hers. No. No, sir. She have to smell of it first. But what's this for? This is the skin of the dead lamb. I save it. In case I have to use it. It's an old sheep herder's trick. Eh? You watch. Mama sheep, she think it is hers. <coughs> <laughs> you see? Now they get what they want. Mama Sheep, she'd think, Ah, this is my lamb. And they stay together. They're very happy. It's not a question of everybody look out for himself. No, it's much better look out for each other. The only thing, though, you just about done me out of my job. No, no. There's the dog to look out for. Jupe, need you. Still, I bet that old biddy isn't going to part with two bits a day when she finds out that I'm not... It's not old biddy. Don't ever say that again, ever. Very good woman. through lambing time. No, I don't think so. Well, he's got a real problem. He can't trust Juno anymore. 
And it'll be a month before Jupe is in top shape. Oh, I bet you things work out. Don't you like it here, Bumper? It ain't that. It's your aunt. She don't seem to be too sold about the idea of having me around. Oh, I think it's just a question of her getting used to the idea. Getting to know you a little better. Hey, how would you like to come into the ranch house tomorrow? Have Sunday dinner with us. No, I really shouldn't. Oh, please. I'd rather not. Well, suppose I brought you out some clothes, all freshly done up, just about your size. Nobody picking carrots, nobody picking spuds. In Tomorrow Valley, they all wear Sunday dress. Ow! <laughs> Tomorrow Valley, I'm going there someday. The day I find a diamond in the ground. Tomorrow Valley is where I'm gonna stay. That diamond better weigh 100 pounds. <laughs> Here you go. You know, I could shear ten sheep the time it take me to cut one head of your hair. Boy, I bet a lot of people would be surprised if they could see me now. You bet you muchacho. <laughs> you at least ask before you took them. I thought you'd say no. Then why did you go ahead and do it? I thought if you once saw the boy wearing them, saw what they could do for him. If you didn't want them to do some good for anybody ever, Oh, 
you? Bumper is not here. He's gone. Gone where? I don't know. He does not tell me. He just goes. And you let him? This time of night? What do you want me to do, eh? Tie him down? Well, I... I guess he... I guess I made a fool of myself. If you'd only told me ahead of time. No, no, no. It's my fault. I am a stupid old man. Carlos, you have a, a rifle in there, haven't you? Well, go get it. And uh, bring some of Ben's clothes that the boy had on. What are you going to do? Well, this isn't the kind of country where a boy should be wandering around alone at night. We're going to find him.
looking for me. Quit taking me all night to get out of that darn hole. Williams, hurt yourself. I'm awful sorry. Something I've got to say. I'm sorry I acted the way I did today. The things I said. I've had words said to me. It was my fault for not telling her before. It don't matter. This is a fine place you picked out to spend the night. How would you like it if a thousand pound grizzly came along? Didn't like you sharing his home. Mm. We'd had a nice time trying to get me where I was. Um, but how would you like to come back with us? Finish your job. Well, I don't know. If you're a person, I won't stay in one place too long. Start putting down roots, like an old potato. He would like it. I know he would. I know he would. Tell her you would, Bumper. Yeah, I would. I really would. I mean, for a little while. I'm gonna get my stuff. on TVD, another guest to be surprised in This Is Your Life, followed by News Brief.